Are you mad at me? Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I know you love me. Okay, we're gonna make out now. Are you ready, Misty? Okay, go over there. Hey there, Lala here, and this is Winston. He is a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. I don't know if he's 100% Wheaton, but um, when we rescued him, they didn't even know that he was Wheaton. I was pretty sure he was. I thought maybe also some Poodle, just because this is a usual color for Wheaton. But the first time he went to a vet, they thought he was 100% soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Um, he's a bit shy and I think he's comfortable enough with me to let me do the, the um, Floby, although I've <laughs> never groomed him or any other dog before. Uh, so this is gonna be my first attempt and uh, this might actually be a how not to groom your dog rather than a how to. So let's see how this goes. Don't know if the sound's gonna scare him. <laughs> Hopefully not, he's a pretty mellow guy. stopping. <laughs> if we could have got a mobile groomer to come out, we would be going that route, but I called six mobile groomers and not one of them called me back. And that was last summer. So I'm pretty sure if I couldn't get a mobile groomer before the coronavirus, there's no way I was going to get one now. I think it would do a great job on his chin, but I'm really concerned with the way that the, the suction is that it could actually pull his lip down. For the same reason I don't want to get close to his ears because uh, I don't want it to get pulled in by mistake but I think he's doing a really good job and I love the way it's doing his paws they're all round and cute so with the hair all the same length I think it does a really nice job I'm gonna try doing his head let's give that a try he did not like that last time I tried but um, I'm just going to do it again. I just want to make sure his ears are not going to get stuck in. So, I really gave this Floby a really good chance. Um, in the earlier part of the video, I was not really happy with this because it was sucking onto his um, body too much. And I realized it worked great on the top of his head, but that's because it's like a person's head. A nice curve, and it, but down here, it doesn't let enough air in. So what I thought I would do, was drill some holes in this base to let some air in. 
and I was thinking that would be enough to keep it from sucking onto him. And I thought it was doing a good job. As soon as I came around to the side here and I could tell it was pulling on his skin, I decided I can't use this on any place but on his back and on the top of his head. This did such a nice job on his, on his feet. His paws look so cute. Come here, let's see if you can show me your paws. <laughs> I mean, they're like just perfectly little round puffs and I think they look so cute. And when they've gotten long and I've tried to trim them with the scissors, it, it always looks awful. So that I really liked. So I will continue to do his paws with this and the top of his head and everything else I will just do with the grooming tool and a comb if my <laughs> groomer's not available. First option, get your dog professionally groomed. Uh, I'm just not familiar enough with grooming a dog to do a good job. Maybe over the next few months or a couple of years <laughs> I'll get better, but he certainly was much happier getting groomed than I thought he was gonna be because he hates going to groomers. You're all right, huh? Wait, wait a second. are we still friends? <laughs> it couldn't be too bad because when I came to shoot this, he tried to jump up on the island here. So <laughs> either he likes being on camera or he likes that when he's up here, I'm just like constantly petting him. All right, thanks for watching guys. And if you'd like to see more video of soft coat and wheaten terriers or Winston specifically, let me know in the comments and I think Winston would be happy to oblige. He doesn't seem to mind being on camera at all. All right, thanks and we'll see you again. Bye-bye. Winston says bye.